Hi, Jackie Spencer here, doing a conspiracy magic card opening reveal. Oh, let's see what we got. Who is that? Is that a transgender? He or she may cast the spell. Let's see what we got here. First card. A tormenting voice. <laughs> is this like a tarot card reading right now? As an additional cost to cast, discard a card. Draw two cards for a two drop. Nah. A little fluster gloom. Non-black creatures get minus one, minus one. Well, that's just messed up. Let's not even go there. Mononic Wall. Five to cast. Defender. Bring all some shit out of your graveyard. Okay. Then we have a Goblin Tunneler. He is a 1-1 one, one target creature with power 2. Can't be blocked. Ah, kind of like... The goblin digging team a little bit. Kind of cool. Fade into iniquity. Three drop to get rid of an artifact or enchantment. Probably be pretty good if you were uh, doing like a booster draft. A zealous strike. The hell is that card? Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and first strike. Instant. Not too shab. Or century. Three, three defender. So that's a wall. Conspiracy. What is the conspiracy at, at hand here, folks? Some flavor text. Then we have Repulse. Return target creature owner's hand, draw a card for three instant. Kind of like a little souped up summon. Unsummon. Then, the Voyage Satire. A 1 2 with a tap ability to end tap a land. Decent and limited play, I guess. Palace Sentinels. A little random uncommon, I guess. Land Fetcher. Te can, is, is Fetch only for lands, or can a, a sorcery be Fetch? Let me know in the comments. Alright, this is where we're getting to the cool stuff. This is why I got Conspiracy. Because they have weird-ass little creatures like this guy. Juniper Order Ranger? 2 4 5 drop. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1 1 counter on that creature and on this dude. Well, that's pretty good. This card's in the video game. Helps both people though, so it's a little weird. But still decent. Alright, here we go. Here's the rare. Looks interesting. Didn't fully read it yet. When Protector of the Crown enters the battlefield, I become the Monarch. What's the Monarch? Do I get to, like, make rainbow decks? Make videos? Like, hey, man, you want, you want a dab? You, you, want, you want a dab? A little dab will do you. <laughs> All right, so that's that card. Then we have... Conspiracy. So the way these cards worked, I think you, everybody got to pick one card they started with or something. You get one conspiracy card. This conspiracy is assemble the rank and vile. You have a hidden agenda. What would the hidden agenda be? Creatures you control with chosen name have. When this creature dies, you may pay swamp. If you do, put a two-two zombie. Shit, so if somebody's using like four creatures that they're probably gonna cast early, you can make this this card work. That is the conspiracy. And then my token is one the monarch. So I guess this is the rules for monarch. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, its controller becomes the monarch. And thus the conspiracy continues.